Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing really well. Um, I thought I'd do a vlog this week because I haven't really done one before and everybody's doing vlogmas and it's making me feel really festive. I definitely am not able to do vlogmas every day because it's like a lot, a lot of work, but you know, maybe one day. But I thought I would do a vlog maybe this week, maybe a few days, see how I get on of some festive things that I've been doing. So I'm currently sitting here in my pyjamas, but this is the fluffiest, warmest dressing gown that I've ever owned in my entire life. It's from Marks and Spencers and it's so, so warm. I highly, highly recommend it. And it's got a hood. It's super cute. And I've just been sitting here on a Saturday morning doing some Christmas card writing and wrapping some presents and I've just been watching In The Fro's latest Vlogmas episode and I thought, do you know what? I can do Vlogmas. I can definitely do a little vlog this week of things that I've been doing. So while I was sitting here wrapping, I thought that I would show you guys a couple of cool things that I've got. Mainly, this is the absolute main thing that made me think, I can't, I can't not show this. This is the card I'm writing to my sister. If you're my sister Jo, don't watch this next bit because I'm giving away what your Christmas card is. It's very, very cool. So you can just fast forward like 10 seconds. It's Pamela. Oh my Christmas, so great. I've seen a few people with doing cookies of this particular moment of Pamela, but they've obviously taken it and made it into this Christmas card. I love this so much. If you're a Gavin and Stacey fan, you will know what that is. It's so cool, I absolutely love it. I also got some other cool Christmas cards when I was in Oliver Bonus. And I'm going to show you some of them. Sorry if you're the person that received this card and you've already seen it, but I haven't actually decided who I'm sending all of these to. Noddy Holder. I love this one. I love this one as well. Was Noddy Holder the bass player? Maybe he was. I don't know, but he's got a bass guitar there anyway. I always thought he was the lead guitar. I'll have to double check. But yes, I literally love that one. This is another fun one. Spice Girls. Tell us what you want, what you really, really want. Christmas spices. That's so cool. I love that as well. I still haven't decided who I'm going to give that one to. Probably nobody. I'll probably keep it forever. This one is exactly how we all feel over Christmas. How I feel over Christmas. First of the 26th of December, festive. 27th to 31st, confused, full of cheese, unsure which day of the week it is. And then January, just fat. <laughs> That's pretty apt, I reckon. I really love that one. Um, oh, these are a couple of ones that I definitely know who I'm giving those to. Um, oh, this one is just super cute. Just a nice scene of London. The other really lovely thing that I wanted to show you guys was one of my friends sent me a really cute present. I've got my birthday coming up on Wednesday so another reason why I thought I might vlog this week and I thought this was going to be a birthday present so I didn't open it because I was just waiting for Wednesday but she texted me and said have you received something from me and I was like oh is it this package she said yes open it now it's not for your birthday it's for now you might have noticed last week that I didn't upload a video we just had a couple of things going on last week which meant that I didn't upload a video and she very very kindly sent me a gift to say thinking of you and to cheer us up. I don't know if you guys have come across this brand before. Cake or death? Cake or death? Now if you're a fan of the comedian Eddie Izzard you will know that saying cake or death? Uh, cake please. Now, if you don't know, go and check it out. It's really funny. That brand obviously do know that and they've decided to call their amazing cake company, Cake or Death, after it, which is so cool. And they do decadent vegan cakes, brownies and cookies handmade in East London. In here, now I must admit I have eaten some of these already. Brownies three different flavors of brownies. One of them was stem ginger, oh my goodness. I put it in the microwave for 10 seconds and had it with a cup of tea. It was absolutely amazing. If you love stem ginger, it 
and you, you would have like died for that it was amazing and the other one i tried was mince pie flavor but there's also um salted caramel there which i'm gonna try later on so kind thank you so much bethan for my kind gift it really genuinely has been cheering me up because we know how i feel about cake chocolate and all things sweet you guys have noticed that i'm actually just sat here on the floor because <laughs> scout's got the sofa she's got the really fluffy blanket and she's having a nice chill out on the sofa while i have to sit on the floor <laughs> i actually prefer sitting on the floor to do my wrapping because i'm at the same height as the table so it makes it easier but she's definitely taken the opportunity to have there she is the entire sofa you're right there babe nice and comfortable good So it's my birthday eve and we've had a super busy day working, doing bits and pieces, but we're heading out for dinner tonight and I'm so excited. I haven't been out for dinner in, I mean, I can't even tell you, it must literally be months now. So we're going to a new restaurant, well it's new to our area, it's not a new restaurant, I know that they have it in London, called The Real Greek and it's supposed to have an awesome vegan menu. So I'm really looking forward to that. One of my friends has told me that the aubergine dish is the thing that I've got to look out for. So I'm definitely going to order that. Apparently it's lots of little plates, so it should be yummy. I'm very excited. And we're going out tonight rather than tomorrow night because we literally just couldn't get a table there and that's why I really wanted to go. But the good thing is I can have a lie-in tomorrow because I've got the day off so actually it's worked out really well it's kind of better doing it that way but before we go I've just got a couple of things that I'm gonna show you guys first of all I got this awesome delivery today which I'm just gonna quickly show you so when I was watching in the fro she had some donuts from this company and I thought instead of having a giant birthday cake all I need is a few donuts because it's not like we're having anybody over for a party so I picked up these donuts these are from Borough 22 and look at these let me put the light on look at these they are absolutely amazing this one oh my goodness the cereal one I'm really excited about that. I think it's cereal, s'mores, salted caramel, cookie dough, jaffa, and chocolate. So cannot wait. We'll probably have one of those after dinner tonight, I reckon, rather than having a pudding there, we'll come home and have one of those. Should I be keeping them in the fridge? I feel like I shouldn't. I feel like they're better out, but they have been in the fridge. I might leave them out for when we come back so they're nice and gooey. We always have this argument about keeping chocolate in the fridge. I like to keep my chocolate out the fridge so it's like nice at room temperature. I think it tastes better, but Mark is definitely a chocolate in the fridge kind of person and will put my chocolate in the fridge. Um, let me know what you think. Chocolate in, chocolate out of the fridge. Anyway, before we get going, we've just got time to do our advent calendars because we haven't done them already today. So I just show you over here. This is Mark's advent calendar. Um, you probably have seen the video where I made this. He's opened quite a lot of the days. On in each day, he's got like a clue where to search for the present. I just have to remember where to hide them. And then these, again, put the light on, are, uh, that's my advent calendar from Mark. It's lots of cute little boxes and inside is different like vegan chocolates. And then this is Scout's advent calendar because, you know, we can't 
let her miss out on such niceties as advent and oh yeah this is my table centerpiece that I made the other day which I'm pretty pleased about so I think we're literally about to do these now please excuse our lovely Artex wallpaper if I broke down in tears and started to whine it might be sensible to bring me a blank hmm what could it be yay where is it where is it is it a new book it might be cashew nuts yay cashew nuts mark's not a huge fan of chocolate so nuts are pretty much a good thing to get him my turn now so let me see if I can find number eight, this one. Ooh, right. Ooh. Oh, yummy. These are free from, whoop, chucked them on the floor. Free from chocolate buttons from Sainsbury's. These are actually really nice. I think I prefer these to the white chocolate ones because they're like super sweet but these chocolate ones are very nice one more person to get their advent i'm surprised they've not already brought themselves over here and sit good girl and wait mm. what's this scouty good girl right where's number eight it's this big one. She's very lucky because, look at this. There you go. Oh, it's so good, she had to take it away. Right, just before we go, I'm just gonna show you what I'm wearing. So I've got this kind of like black denim short dress, which is from new look and I like it because you can put the collar up in the back and then down at the front and it's like bringing all my 80s vibes together I mean I really like it and I've just got a little Oliver bonus necklace on there which I thought tied in quite nicely some black tights and then these oh scouts just getting in the way and then these shoes are also from new look as well so I'm feeling ready I'm just gonna wear my camel coat and my scarf because it's super cold and that's it we're gonna head out for the evening so I will catch up with you guys tomorrow and I will let you know what I think of the real Greek good morning everybody it's my birthday and I've just woken up so I'm looking really tired under eye bags are back and forth so just ignore them for now but I just wanted to say that we had a really nice time last night at The Real Greek. It was lovely. Um, the food was amazing. We had this amazing like chickpea phyllo pastry parcel that was so delicious. And then a jackfruit. What was that jackfruit thing called? Step, step something. Something like that, I can't remember. It was like a jackfruit um stew. sort of stew yeah it was all like cooked with mushrooms and a really nice sauce that was amazing and then aubergine uh, tomatoey sauce so good the whole thing was just so delicious and i would be running back there for sure but yeah so i've just woken up now and mark has made me some breakfast i'm just going to show you guys that and then i will get back to you when i'm not looking like this this is the delicious breakfast that mark has just made me Scrambled tofu, tomato, avocado on a bagel.
lovely day I have had. I'm feeling really full up of food, but also of love. It's been really nice. I've had so many cards and nice presents and telephone calls and funny messages and all good stuff. It's been a really good birthday. So I think I'm just going to go and put on my PJs and get cosy for the evening. And we're just going to stay in and we're going to watch, uh, I think it's the big big fat Christmas quiz one of those ones with Jimmy Carr we're gonna watch that over the evening definitely don't need any dinner probably just have a couple of little snacks because we've had so many nice things today that I am full up and maybe one of the little donuts later on for a late pudding but yes that is my birthday for another year done it's been so good thank you to all my friends and family who have made it so special it's Friday night the working week is done and this evening we're having a Zoom quiz party for my birthday. My best friend Esme has organised it for me and I'm super thankful to her. She has got 12 teams all attending on Zoom and she's written out a quiz from scratch. She is an absolute legend. For my hen do, she did a treasure hunt round Brighton that she wrote all herself. She's just super lovely and clever and amazing and I'm really really looking forward to this evening's celebration so going to have some pizza for dinner it's another day of slightly cheat food but it has been my birthday week and you know you've got to celebrate these things when they come round so this has definitely have been a naughty week however I did go for a 5k run today so I've kind of earned like a slice maybe two anyway super looking forward to the zoom quiz it's Saturday morning and we had the amazing quiz for my birthday last night which was so much fun Esme thank you it was absolutely brilliant we laughed we quizzed we had the best time and of course winners I mean sorry everybody else who was there but you know it's not really me it's mainly Mark he's just like really smart and seems to know loads of random things so but it was close it was very close we only won it by one and a half points I think but yes it was really really fun evening so it's Saturday morning now and I've been to Waitrose I've done my mum shopping I've done our shopping and I'm literally having my breakfast which is the very last of the donuts so I'm having that's a really naughty breakfast but I need to use it up so I'm having a nice donut and I'm watching Zoella Vlogmas day 10 with a cup of tea and in a minute I need to put all my shopping away and then my mum's going to come over for the afternoon. I need to carry on with this wrapping. I've done heaps and heaps of wrapping this week. I've sent loads of parcels where I spent an obscene amount of money at the post office. But anyway, it's fine. It's all good. So today I just need to finish off the wrapping and get that all done and dusted. And then that's it really. So that's pretty much going to be my Saturday. So I'm gonna say bye to you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you've enjoyed this vlog style video this week. Let me know what you think um, and if I should do another vlog or if you prefer like my normal videos, let me know. Follow me on Instagram, 5foot2 underscore eyes of blue. And if you can like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, I would love you forever. See you next time. Bye.